Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Uktai of JSA, and joining me here in beautiful Honolulu at PTC 2018, my good friend, Mr. Mike Cunningham, CEO of Cross Lake Fiber and chairman of the Ireland France Subsea Cable. Welcome. Thanks, Jamie. Great to be here. So we have uh, very exciting news. And last time we spoke here at JSA TV, you had just announced that the Cross Lake Fiber build, basically what makes that project so unique. You were telling us a little bit. Can you remind us? Sure. Uh, so the Cross Lake Fiber uh, Lake Ontario project uh, is a uh, subsea fiber build going from Toronto, uh, Canada to Buffalo, uh, New York. And uh, the driver for the project really is that it provides a physically diverse route from uh, Toronto to uh, the United States. We're offering dark fiber, which is a new product that really you can't buy uh, into Canada uh, today, at least into Toronto. Uh, it is a uh, new fiber itself, and the uh, existing cables there are approaching 20 years old. And at the same time, it is a, a, a shorter distance, so you'll get lower latency uh, across the road as well. So those are the real drivers for the project. So it's, it's accomplishing that rare dock fiber asset uh, and availability, uh, as well as for the lit, low latency, which is awesome in that marketplace, considering all of the finance and, and content providers who are looking for that. Are, are those your core customers? Yeah, I mean, we're selling dark fiber really, uh, you know, in terms of the customer markets that we're going after, they're uh, telecommunications carriers, OTTs, uh, or internal use customers, as well as large enterprise customers. And what are the services that they're uh, they're seeking from you? I mean, primarily it's dark fiber. I mean, we've built a, a high fiber count cable for the purposes of, of selling dark fiber to the market. Dark fiber it is. And now regarding the build, some uh, latest updates, we ha we hear that some surveys have been uh, conducted. Can you tell us more there? Sure. So the, uh, the marine survey is being completed. Uh, we completed that in the fall. Uh, and within the next uh, few weeks, we'll announce our cable supplier, installation supplier, HDD. Uh, so everything is really progressing as, as well as we could really hope. And uh, we're going into service in uh, September of 2018 this year. Oh, that's soon. That's really soon. Considering the scope of this project, that's amazing. And some really big announcements coming our way. You also have another build going on in North America. Can you tell us a little bit about that new subsea cable route? Sure. Uh, so in the fall, we announced uh, the Wally project, uh, which is named because it goes from Wall, New Jersey to Long Island. And it's a very similar uh, business model to the Lake Ontario build, where it's a high fiber count cable, uh, unrepeated, that will go from Wall, uh, new, the NJFX, up to 1025 Connect in Long Island. NJFX to 1025 Connect, great route there, great people, we should say, as well. Um, and for our viewers who want to learn more about either project, where can they go? Uh, you can go uh, contact us uh, through LinkedIn, through uh, Twitter, or on our website, uh, www.crosslakefiber.ca. Uh, and that's crosslakefiber.ca. Mike, always a pleasure to have you. Thank you for updating us, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV.